Hi, I'm Chris Clark, Artistic Director of Cinema St. Louis. We're the proud presenters of the 20th Annual Whitaker St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase. I'm here with uh, Mason Beck, Director of two films in the event this year. Uh, right now, this very moment, we're talking about um, Mise on a Beam, um, a personal project um, that you made um, in the last couple of years. And um, you know, tell me about the personal aspect of this film, about a young um, actor, a young uh, theater student, um, you know, what, what connection this had in your own life. Oh man, well, I'll start with the fact that I was also a young actor in theater. I, I, I take it for granted because I actually never wanted to act. Uh, I always wanted to direct, but in theater I had to first understand the actor's perspective of the stage, so I jumped into acting. And when I did, I surprisingly got very uh, connected with my drama teacher in a way that I didn't expect. So that's kind of where this story draws from. The fact that a connection came out of what I was thought was going to be something more difficult and more thrashing because he's very, very stern about how he wants his plays and how he wants his actors to do their jobs. And I was a newbie. I was like, I can't, I can't handle this. I'm, I'm, un I'm deep underwater right now. So he, he took me through the steps. He was very kind. He was very nice. And of course, it was a very intimidating presence. So that story of me on really captured the idea of what it was like for me as an actor. It's not me on that stage per se. This wasn't exactly how it happened. Of course not. Um, it's more so just the idea of how this young kid can look at someone, think one thing, and then to have his whole world turned around in order for the better for his performance's sake. So the story itself came from those uh, inspirations for my personal life. Yeah, you know, so it's, um, you know, themes of growth and, and knowledge and learning and challenging oneself and being challenged by others, which is difficult. And I'm stubborn, you know, when someone challenges me to do something in a different way, you know, I've had to relearn, you know, <clears throat> ways to, describe people and, you know, pronouns. Um, I stumble all the time, um, but I try to learn. Um, but, you know, when people challenge me, I was like, I, my new reaction is, oh, no, I don't <laughs> want to do it that way. It's not my way. So it's hard to learn any new skill. And, you know, acting, you have to strip away parts of yourself. And it's, a, you know, complicated, deep and personal emotional process. And, you know, someone's going to start bleeding at some point. And you know, <laughs> knees are going to get, you know, skinned a little bit, but you have to pick yourself up. Um, just like being a little kid and brush it off and you can sit there and cry and pout uh, or you can, you know, do it. Um, uh, I too am a Gorlock. So I like the, um, I was not, a, I didn't have enough credits to be a filmmaker, but you know, I was in the film and media department. Um, so I've always liked, you know, loved watching um, the evolutions of, of storytellers uh, coming out of there. So you had a lot of Websterites uh, as part of the project. Uh, you know, any big challenges in putting this film together? Uh, in fact, the, usually what would have been the biggest challenge was the location, because for a few months, actually, I had to fight the school, which the high school was my actual, it was my old mana. It was uh, the high school I went to, the same theater and everything. The, the district who was supposed to allow actually to go and film, they weren't really sure how to approach this subject, because they only had someone film there once, and it was commercial, I believe. It didn't exactly pan out how they wanted it to, because they left junk everywhere. They weren't really going in the right areas they were supposed to. So they were kind of kind of uh, worried that we would do the same thing. But I was like, come on, guys. I've been to this high school. I know the drill. I, I know what I'm doing. After a few months of hassling them and getting them to listen, finally, they were like, okay, um, you have to pay this, and you have to follow these regulations. I'm like, okay. So I did. Three days later, um, film was made. The biggest challenge, specifically, I guess, during those days, um, was trying to <laughs> mantle the whole scape of the, of the theater because it's very old and it's kind of hard to light as, as our uh, gaffers had to learn the hard way. I remember we had to uh, do the scene where uh, our actor Jake, is, uh, Liam, is standing on the stage and the lights are supposed to go out and the, uh, the house is supposed to come up. Now the house lights, they don't come on immediately. They are very slow. So we're like, how do we do this fast? So we had to rig up the Joker, had to rig up uh, multiple other lights to get them to actually come on faster uh, and to make the scene work. And we actually got it in one take and I was like, all right, we can't risk it. Turn on, turn on off the Joker again. So it's just move on. Good, good. You know, so you have to be, you know, crafty and in, in doing these things. And it sounds to me uh, slightly dangerous. I'm glad nothing exploded, <laughs> you know, or setting somebody's hair on fire like happened to poor Michael Jackson during the Pepsi commercial. Uh, so many years ago. Uh, that was that was a mess. So was he. Um, anyway, I get to digress. Well, you know what? Hey, thanks for spending uh, part of your afternoon uh, chatting about this film. Uh, this is our second virtual festival. And one of the great parts for me has been 
you know, connecting with filmmakers and chatting and talking personally one-on-one -on -one, cause during events, you know, there's a lot of emails back and forth setting up the event and, you know, I need this, I need a file, I need pictures and this and that. And, but I don't always get to talk to people like this, you know, even in the theater, you know, you might get my attention for 10 seconds and then something happens or, you know, there's crowds at the door. I got to clean up popcorn off the floor. Or there's always something to do, but you know, this part's been nice and connecting and I hope we, I'm glad we can share these little chats, you know, with the audience so, so they too can connect um, with the films and the filmmakers, um, you know, with the event. So, Hey, thanks again. And, you know, I'll be back in just a couple of minutes now that people know that, uh, um, but we're going to talk about your other film stable that's in a different program and I'll cross reference uh, in that interview <laughs> uh, back to Mise on a Beam. So, Hey, Mason, uh, thanks very much for uh, chatting. Absolutely. Uh, Thank you, Chris. A couple minutes. See you in a minute.